Hello, I'm Miranda Mizzen, Principal at Tab Group, and I'm here today with Carl Wallin, Global Head of Sales of Neonet. Welcome, Carl. Thank you very much, Miranda. Very um, excited to be here. Thank you. Um, and today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the agency brokerage landscape. Now, first off, um, Carl, uh, you became part of, or Neonet became part of the Orc Group earlier this year in April. So tell us a little bit more about that, the implications, the, the challenges, maybe, the, and certainly the opportunities. Yes, that's correct. It's, uh, it's actually very exciting for us. Um, obviously, Neonet grew um, as, a, as a pure agency brokerage, uh, founded back in 1996. Uh, um, and had a, a very pure agency offering, and, and more recently went into the technology space. Uh, so for the last few years, we've been offering um, technology solutions, uh, primarily in Europe, um, and, and done so quite uh, successfully. Um, now we're part of the Orc Group since, uh, uh, since uh, April, um, which we feel really um, plays in the right direction for the strategy that we have with our clients. We aim to be on the cutting edge um, uh, when it comes to trading and being technologically very sophisticated. Uh, so we believe that with Orc, who's obviously very established within the technology space, um, uh, that that will help us and our clients to, uh, uh, to achieve that. So you obviously got technology, which is the mainstay of, of your product offering. Um, but as an agency broker, how do, you, how do you differentiate yourselves in the market with regard to execution, with regard to what you do and don't offer? Right. Um, well, the one part is, uh, uh, is with ORC. I mean, now the, the goal of the ORC group is to become the, uh, uh, so the global leading provider of both technology and services when it comes to uh, um, equity and derivatives execution mm -hmm. and sort of taking care of the entire client. Um, not only technology, but also to the transaction side uh, and more of the whole whole piece. And we believe that would be important to stay competitive. Um, if we look at the uh, the pure transaction side, the neonet part of the business, um, our clients trade with us because we have a very pure agency offering. Um, we don't uh, uh, do any prop trading. We don't have a book of our own or even have permission or so to do so. When clients send us order, they're comfortable with that. We will send that straight to the, the market. Um, in the best possible way. Um, now, now, what is the best possible way? I think one is uh, being technologically sophisticated. You need to have the best smart order out there, out there. You need to have very competitive algorithms. You need to have a good application to trade. Um, you need to be fast. There's a couple of things there. Uh, so that's the one side. Uh, and then the other side plays on the, um, uh, on the agency aspect. Um, uh, as I said, we believe um, that we should not do anything with our client orders. And we have also taken the stance that neither should anybody else. So we've chosen to stay away from internalizers. Um, uh, many of our competitors use internalizers. Many of the big global uh, agency brokers do. That's well known. Um, and, and we sort of uh, have said there, well, well obviously they're how, how that model works is that they, they see an order and they look at it. If they, if they want to take it, they will trade that order for the broker uh, for free. Uh, and we sort of see that they're doing something to that order which sort of goes a little bit against the agency concept. Um, the problem that that sort of has on us is that, that will, their cost basis on that trade is zero. Um, and th there, uh, there is a, obviously a, a, a race to the bottom when it comes to commissions. And, uh, and that sort of pushes that even further closer to the, uh, to the bottom. Um, um, uh, but an important thing to say on that topic as well, though, is that I mean, when we look at our spectrum of clients, the more sophisticated the client is and the more uh, advanced and probably larger they are in terms of their trading, um, the less important is actually the commission rate. I mean, the one basis point, couple of basis points here and there. And it's much more important with market impact. Um, are we hitting the volume out there? Are we finding the hidden volume? Uh, and how is that order being taken care of? So sort of that's that's where we are and that's how we um, uh, try to provide a good service to our clients. Interesting. And just wrapping up here, you're obviously present in on three continents. Um, where is your main focus at the moment? Yes, I mean obviously we, we, we come from a uh, European background, the Nordics, just as uh, uh, as Orc. Um, so for us still Europe is, is where we have the biggest uh, uh, footprint. Uh, but we're growing quite quickly. Um, uh, looking here in, in North America, um, uh, we've recently uh, uh, done some quite aggressive hiring. Um, uh, Orc Group um, uh, has a bigger presence than we have here. They have a big office in, in Chicago with 50, 60 employees or so, do a lot of their development there. Um, so we are right now um, 
growing in, in North America in terms of the trading that we will execute, I think most of that will be still in, in, in Europe. The flow will be going into our home market. Um, and, and the same thing goes for, uh, goes for Asia. Excellent. Well, thank you. Um, so thank you, Carl, very much. I'm here with Carl Wallin, uh, Global Head of Sales at Neonet, and I'm Miranda Mizzen, Principal at Tap Group, and thanks for watching. Thank you.